Lake County. It's the Lake County Flash for Friday, November 26, 2021. Here's your video news source for everything Oregon Outback. It's the Flash. Lakeview High School football coach Ryan Moss is the coach of the year in the 2A Special District 4 League. He earned the honor by leading the Lakeview High School football team as they won the league championship. This is Moss's first year coaching the Honkers and he led them to the state semifinals for the first time in over a decade. Moss credited the work of his assistant coaches and how they prepare the players to take the field. Moss said one of his main tenets that he has been preaching to his players is to play hard every day and always look toward the next play. On Thursday, November 18th, Congressman Cliff Bentz introduced H.R. 6019, a bill that would codify the Trump administration's Northern Spotted Owl critical habitat revision. According to a press release, the bill would fine-tune the owl's habitat designation and remove about 1 million acres of non-spotted owl habitat lands from the area designated as owl habitat. Lake County Commissioner Barry Schulenberger said of Benz's bill in part, for decades, the overly broad Northern Spotted Owl Critical Habitat designation has prevented responsible forest management. Oregon communities have paid the price. Benz's bill to codify the Trump administration's revised critical habitat is a step in the right direction. A major step forward took place at the Alger Theater in Lakeview this week as workers did asbestos abatement work on the marquee outside of the reader board. As the theater was built in 1940, much of it was made using asbestos, which acted as a fire suppressor, but is now considered a hazardous material. Work on the asbestos abatement on the marquee had to wait until the reader board was removed due to the nature of removing asbestos. Workers dress in personal protective equipment to remove the toxic material. Removing the asbestos was just one of the projects that will need to be completed before the reader board is put back into place. Lake District Hospital will be offering a new certified nursing assistant class starting Friday, January 14th, 2022. The seven-week class is open to anyone. The hospital notes that the class is a great step for anyone looking at a career in nursing and can give students a leg up when applying to nursing schools. The class size is limited to 10 students. Full training scholarships are available for qualifying students. Those interested must submit their application by Friday, December 10th. Apply at lakedistrict.org careers or call the hospital's Human Resources Department for alternatives to applying online at 541-947-2114, extension 230. HR should also be contacted for information regarding high school students. That does it for this week. Be sure to check out the online calendar to keep up with events happening around the county. Catch a new flash every Friday at the Lake County Hotspot every Tuesday. And for these stories and much more, be sure to pick up the next Lake County Examiner. Fast Break Convenience Stores have locations throughout Lake County for all of your needs. In Lakeview, there are three convenient locations open seven days a week. The Chevron, which is open from 5.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. The Shell, open from 4 a.m. to 10 p.m. And the Lakeview Truck Stop, which is open from 6.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. Other locations include the Bly, Fuel Good, and Bly, which is open Monday through Saturday from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. The Christmas Valley Market in Chevron, which is open Monday through Saturday, 6.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. And Sunday from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. In Silver Lake, the convenience and Chevron store is open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. daily. So stop on by for all of your fuel needs, regular and diesel. Each location offers a wide selection of snacks, goodies, food, and soft drinks, including deli sandwiches and hot coffee. Fast Break is open seven days a week to serve Lake County.